Hi everyone, in today's video, I am going to discuss the fourth principle of the solid design principles, which is interface segregation principle. So I have already covered the first three principles. So I have already covered the single responsibility principle, open close principle and the Liskov substitution principle. And the link of all these videos are present in the description box. So please make sure you watch these videos. So let's start today's video with the interface segregation principle. And this principle states that the clients should not be forced to depend upon interfaces that they don't use. So let me simplify this definition further. So here the clients are the classes which are implementing the interfaces. So in another words, we can state that the classes which are implementing the interfaces should not be forced to define the methods which they don't use. Right. So the main goal of this principle is to reduce the side effects of using larger interfaces by breaking into smaller and specific interfaces, which in turn defines the specific or exact behavior. So we should always create smaller and more specific interfaces instead of creating big or fat interface where we put lot of unrelated behaviors or methods. So to illustrate that, let me take an example here and don't worry. I'll also take one more example for which we will write a code in a, in the editor. So let me take a interface. Let me, so here I have define a board interface which has some behavior or methods so so basically the behaviors are make sound eat fly swim or sleep and sleep so basically these are the abstract methods when any class implements this interface they need to define these methods they need to implement these method so let's define our first class which is parrot and we know parrot is a bird right at and it implements this bird interface so they need to define or implement all these abstract methods and the methods are make sound eat fly swim and sleep the behaviors or we can say methods make sound eat fly and sleep is fine but parrot does not swim so how can parrot class defines the swim behavior so here we have simply thrown the exception which indicate that this behavior is not applicable for parrot as this class has implemented the bird interface so it is forced to define this method defines this swim method right so let's take one more class and this time uh, let's define a class let's create a class ostrich and we all know ostrich neither fly nor swim right so for these methods or behaviors we are throwing exception so we are throwing an exception that ostrich cannot fly and ostrich cannot swim So where the problem lies and the problem lies in the board interface, right? So we have defined lot of behaviors or methods in a board interface, which is not applicable for all the birds. And we have already seen in parrot class as well as in ostrich class that parrot does not swim. And in case of ostrich, it does not fly and neither, neither. So basically it does not fly and also it does not swim, right? So by defining so many methods in a single interface, we are forcing all the classes which are implementing board interface to define a method which is not related to them. And this is where the interface segregation principle comes to rescue us. Let's define more specific interfaces. So all the boards can fly, make sound and sleep. So keep this keep these methods or behaviors in the board interface right and 
not all birds can fly and swim so let's create a separate interface for these two behaviors for fly we have created one more interface flyable and for swim we have created another interface swimmable so any bird class which implements flyable or swimmable interface indicate that this bird can fly or swim so accordingly let's refactor the code in our classes so for parrot we are implementing bird and flyable interface so parrot can fly also right so now in parrot class we have defined these behaviors make sound eat fly and sleep and for ostrich class we are only implementing the bird interface as it cannot fly and swim right so now we have seen by creating a smaller and more specific interfaces we are not forcing classes to define unrelated behaviors let's discuss few points here when interface segregation principle is violated so it's violated when classes have empty method implementation so the second when method implementations throw unsupported operation exception or similar kind of exception when method implementations return null or default or dummy values right so now we have gone through a lot of theory part we have seen one example where we have violated the interface segregation principle and how we have refactored the code and we have adhered to this principle so let's open the editor and quote one more example there so here let's take an example of social media and we all know in social media we can do the chat we can publish post we can share photos and videos and we can do the group video call and some of the popular social media providers are facebook instagram whatsapp so i have created a separate classes for all the three social media providers and all of them implements this social media interface so it means so each class which are implementing this social media interface need to define these abstract methods and the methods are chat publish post <coughs> publish post share photos videos and group video call right so for facebook it support all the features so in facebook we can do the chat we can publish post we can share photos and videos and we can do the group video call right now let's move to the instagram class so in, in on instagram we can do the chat we can publish post we can share photos and videos but it does not have the functionality to do the group video call so this feature is not supported on instagram so we have thrown an exception here right and similarly for whatsapp we can do the chat we can share photos and videos we can do the group uh, we can do the group call but in whatsapp we cannot publish post so this behavior or this feature is not supported on whatsapp and in main method basically i have created a verify method which accept any class which implements this interface so any class which is of type so social media is accepted here and we just we have just called the method chat share photos and videos group video call and publish post and in verify method i have passed an instance of facebook and whatsapp which is uh, which are implementing the social media interface so let me run this code and if i run this code so for facebook you can see 
everything is fine right so facebook are supporting all the features but for whatsapp these three features are fine but for let's say publish post the exception is thrown right so somewhere it's violating the interface segregation principle so we have defined a lot of method lot of methods behavior in a single interface which are not applicable for all the classes so what we need to do we need to do the refactoring here right so let's refactor our code right so all the social media providers provide these features chat and share photos and videos so let's keep keep these feature in a social media interface right and for group call and publish post let's create a separate interface so one interface for group video call and the interface is social media group call manager and for publish post let's create another interface which is social media post manager so now let's move to the facebook class and facebook provide all the features so it are so facebook is implementing all interfaces so basically it provides chat and share photos and videos so it it is implementing social media it also provide the features to publish post so it is implementing social media post manager it also supports group video call so it it is implementing social media group call manager so let's move to the instagram class which provide these three features so it supports chat publish post share photos and videos so it is implementing social media and social media post manager and accordingly whatsapp also implements the interfaces i mean so they are so whatsapp implementing these two interfaces so it provides chat share photos videos and group video call right so basically whatever behaviors they are providing they are implementing the interfaces accordingly so we have created smaller and more specific interfaces and the classes which are providing those behaviors are implementing those interfaces right and now let's open the main class and so in verify method so we have defined any class which are implementing this interface is applicable here so and in social media there is only two behaviors are present which is chat share photos videos so any class which is which are implementing this social media interface provide these two features chat share photos and videos now after refactoring our code after creating a specific smaller and specific interfaces we are adhering to the interface segregation principle and this is all about this principle so let's conclude this video by going by revising some of the important points related to the interface segregation principle now let's revisit what we have learned so far so this principle stress on creating specific and small interfaces right and the interface interfaces should not be bloated with methods that implementing class don't require so many small and focused interfaces are better than one general purpose or fat interface and the last important point is this principle is similar to the single responsibility principle where both principles ensure small focused and highly cohesive software components so the single responsibility principle focuses on classes whereas in interfaces whereas in interface segregation principle we are mainly focuses on interfaces right so that's all about this video and i hope you have learned a lot about the interfaces segre interface segregation principle and 
thanks for your time please share this video with your friends and colleagues and please subscribe our youtube channel thank you thank you very much